I'm on the 151 bus to Union Station. Um, kind of a tight connection with my Illini train down to Gilman, Illinois, which is the least used Amtrak station in Illinois. And somehow I managed to drag my parents here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Dad, so what's your ultimatum on this trip? All right, so I just on the way over here, uh, Miles offered to pay for these tickets. So I said, well, what did you pay? He said he paid $36 for the three of us because he got a special rate or something like that. It was a 50% like off sale. 50% yeah. off sale. So I said to him, if we go there and come back and I enjoyed myself, I will reimburse him the $12. It's my third of the $36. But I don't think it's going to happen. We'll see. I'm definitely not enjoying it so far. And the okay. prospect of going to this place that I've never heard of called Gilman, eh, we'll see. But you never know. And right. two hours of farmland in the dark. We'll see yeah, how that is. It's not is. dark yet. We're here for the weekend in Chicago. One night in Chicago and one night in Gilman. I'm not reimbursing the ticket. <laughs> Thank you, son. Looking forward to this. I love you. Absolutely lovely view of the bean over here. Oh yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, I think I think you can kind of see it through the camera. I would say that is an enjoyable aspect of the trip. Oh, oh yeah, that's a plus. Some cool faith artwork over here. Pretty nice, right? I'm looking forward to the artwork in filming. Wow, we've got what appears to be a film shoot here. There could be some major actors there, like that's that's pretty crazy, guys. Yeah, but, like, yeah we're still in Chicago. Thank you. Now we have like 15 minutes to find where the train boards. It leaves at 4.05, but Union Station has a thing where you can't, the doors close five minutes before the train leaves, so we actually have to go before that. Where are we going again? Gilman. Bit of rain, it's fine. Say that again, Mom. It's beautiful. You wouldn't have come here if we hadn't gone on this trip to Gilman. <laughs> it is one of the great train stations. Should probably head down so we don't miss it. Okay. <laughs> Even if some members of the party would prefer that. Mom genuinely might actually want us to miss this train. <laughs> train with the double double floors yeah I know is this your first time on Amtrak double Becker yeah yeah these are cool maybe we can walk up a bit so there are more seats the University of Chicago is over here and it's very out of focus <laughs> This train does not stop here, despite, this is actually a very popular train with students because it serves three universities, I believe, along the way. This one in Gilman. I'm What's it called? <laughs> I don't know what river this is, but this marks the border between Chicago and not Chicago. Oh. So once we Look cross it, we won't be like kind of hanging out with bated breath here until we cross the river, which is right now. So we're now out of Chicago. And it's only taken like 35 minutes. This is actually quite relaxing. Train smooth. Yeah, I'm sitting back in this curtain luxury, even though I took the curtain out because you can yeah. see. Yeah, it is comfortable. It's obstructing the view. Seats are amazing. Amtrak in the Midwest is a nice ride. It is. And the track is really good too. Like, we, we're gonna move quick later on. We're already moving pretty quick. All right, we're making our first stop at Homewood. We're gonna go ahead. Homeward bound. Homeward bound. <laughs> okay, no wait. Homewood. I was thinking homeward was the okay. original song. Homewood. 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 Homeward. Homeward bound. No, are you starting? Where are we starting? This one start with homeward bound. Then it goes into the home or the. Okay, we didn't figure that part out though. Okay, fine. <laughs> so that was your part. Homeward bound. Showers. Homeward bound. Home. Yeah. Okay. 
Promise animals on this car. trip. Such a contrast from Chicago. What's an animal? Some quaint architecture, a red barn. Okay, I don't. Perhaps a fence. I don't know if we're gonna get your idealized northeast version of a farm, but we'll see. Okay, well, it's your ticket, son. I'm just here for the ride. Is this clear? Is this, is this qualify under your rules? I am so happy you did not waste your $12, honey, because this is great. Okay. This is great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. How are you feeling about hanging it. back? I think it looks great. It's so okay. beautiful. That's good. Yeah. So I, I might be $12 richer at the uh, end of this? See. We still have okay. to downtown Gilman. Yeah. <laughs> It, it's really interesting. These are towns that have built their centers around the railroad, yeah. but the railroad doesn't even stop there anymore. And I'm going to point out that uh, there's an 1880 quote on Wikipedia about Gilman that specifically states that even in 1880, the town was remarkably sprawled out with no discernible center. So there's no downtown Gilman in downtown Gilman. <laughs> we'll have to walk 20 minutes to get to the closest thing to downtown Gilman. Oh, okay. I can't wait for this culinary experience. Thank you, son. Listen, of course. Of course. All right, we're here in Kankakee, our second stop. Downtown's on that side and the station's on that side, but our next stop is Gilman, so we're almost there. We're crossing some river. The, oh, the Kankakee Dam? Maybe. Okay, we've got Dad here who just used the Amtrak bathroom. What did you think? Ooh, on a scale from one to 10, I think it's, I hate to say it, I think it's about a three. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. It wasn't dirty, but there was just something about it. I don't know. Well, Mom, there are like seven bathrooms down there, so you can kind of pick which really? one you want. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I'm, you picked a bad one. Up. All yeah. right, I'll ask you when you come back. Take my coat off so it doesn't get, you know, bathroom <laughs> smell. Okay. Yours was good? So nice. My restroom was preceded by an ante room that had like a couch and a sink. And You're then the kidding. bathroom was off of that. It was so tempting to just sit in that ante room, but there were no windows. But nonetheless, it looked very cozy and comfortable. And had there been an attendant, I would have probably tipped her a dollar. And scale of one to ten? Seven. Wow. wow. Seven. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is the part of the bathroom my mom ended up in. This is this is swanky. I think it's like the lounge or something. So it's really cool. I see why she liked it so much. And then here's the toilet. Wow. Oh, this is luxurious. This is luxurious. Doctor said he's the most people we've ever had that coffee filming. Yes. Yeah. He, said, he also said it's in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. What's that? I mean, he's the only one that gets off here. Yeah, right. No, I just got to go to Thank you. Gilman, Illinois. I mean, it smells like the farm out here, doesn't it? So this is the station, one platform. Uh, there's really not much here. It's, it's accessible, there's a ramp, and I think, I think this is an accessible low level, level platform, so you can have level boarding with a, with a train. And there's even accessible parking here in the dirt parking lot. Some station information. Um, two trains a day, which is nice. That's why we're here to get dinner, so we can actually get a train back up to Chicago. And then we've got a shelter, pretty much just a bus shelter. Um, not much to it, just a bus shelter. Uh, five, there were two other people that got off with us for a total of five. Um, unfortunately, that's just one platform, so I think a train would have to in order to be accessible, a train would have to stop on this side. We'll see what happens with the train coming back, I guess. Yeah, there's not there's not much to it. I think I think I think we got it. You ready to walk to the ready to walk to uh, I am ready. downtown? And I just gotta say how wild it is, I think, that you can just go an hour and a half outside of 
Chicago, the third biggest city in the entire country, and you hit farmland. I know. So I'm so glad you are paying me for this cultural excursion. Yeah, no problem, yeah. Mom. <laughs> You might not have done it if it cost a 12 bucks. I'll do the ridership numbers before I forget. Um, uh oh, sidewalk situation's rough. I know there's eventually a sidewalk on the road in the town, but I think we have to struggle for a bit here. This is the right way? Yeah. Um, so, this station gets 2,001, in, in 2019 it got 2,130 passengers, which averages out to six a day. So by five of us getting off there, it's, it's four trains per day, two in each direction, so I think the ridership numbers are a little skewed today. If there's six a day, we increased it by 50%. Now it's about a mile walk to downtown, so we're gonna, or well, the supposed downtown. Of course, in 1880, there wasn't much of a downtown. Hopefully there's more of one today. Here's downtown Gilman. You're enjoying your drink. This is huge. I'm pretty psyched. The menu was great. The crowd here is friendly. They all seem to know each other. All in all, I'd say this is a pretty good way to experience Jonah. Yeah. So and, and I'm excited. say it's worth 12 bucks. Miles, thank you. No thank problem. You. Sadly, your food hasn't come yet. Ours looks great. So good. I'm excited. All right, we just had dinner at the Crossroads Cantina. Really nice local bar, really great atmosphere in there. Great food. Great food. Um, just a great experience, I would say. Oh, you Very can see nice the people. A bit. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. nice people. What's that mm -hmm. animal? Oh my God. Whoa. What is that? Oh, it's what just a it? cat, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we came to the town, so that was a very good call. Ooh, I got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, I'm going to give you the $12. No, no. <laughs> it was really nice, though. It's a really, really nice little town. Yes. Um, yes. Great, great experience, really nice people. Um, it's also very, very close to Chicago by train, by driving too. Like, close enough. Now we're going to walk about a mile back to the train station and get the train home. You need to work that dinner off. Yeah. <laughs> Or I'll die. All right, the rain's coming down in Gilman. Uh, we've noted that it's just one platform, so we're not sure if we're gonna have to use that weird concrete thing or if the train will just come here. That remains to be seen. I'm curious what you guys are thinking for one to 10 station score here. Okay, quite frankly, this station is alarming. Mm. I'm not sure we're going to make it back to the city because there's no, <laughs> no this signs. Is the same platform yeah. that we were dropped off on. And yeah. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I the uncertainty of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to give it for a number score. It does have a handicap thing, which is, I really like. So for me, for the number score, and again, I'm comparing it to things like Penn Station and the amazing station that we saw in uh, Chicago. Union Station, yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. So. I'm gonna go with two. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna go with one. I feel like my well-being is not really being taken care of here. Okay. I think, I think just knowing what some of these other ones are like, I think I'm gonna go three here. Wow. I, at least the platform is accessible. I, I do wonder what's going to happen here, though. I might lower it if, if the train comes and stops there because that's just... But I also think... There is there is some parking which is nice. I definitely think it could be better located downtown, but this is closer to the interstate, so it's tit for tat. Oh yeah. Cars versus pedestrians. It's six people a day, so what are you gonna do? Oh, it is on it is on this inner track. We'll just stop on the platform. That's nice. It's on this track right here. Then my three out of ten stays.
Our stallion back to civilization. Yeah. Oh. I think it's this door. How are you doing, guys? Good, how are you? Oh, we're doing well. We were worried you weren't going to stop. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, stairs on the left, guys. Thank okay, thanks. Thank you. Either front or back. Okay, okay. thank you. So, Mom, I'll start with you because you have no interest in paying me back anyway. Um, what do you think of the trip? I love this trip, Mom. It was a real window into how Gilman lives and what it would be like to be in Gilman. And I just want to say thank you. Thank no problem. You for treating me to this experience. And sometimes it's good to know that you've made other people happy with your hard earned cash. And, um, <laughs> Thanks, son. I, I brought you up well. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> okay. So it was clear that she had no intention ever of considering giving a cent back for this trip. Mm -hmm. Now, however, I was on the fence. I yeah. said if I liked it, I would consider it. I have to say, unfortunately, I did have that very bad toilet experience. That's true. However, it was a great opportunity to see a part of life that I wouldn't have seen. I saw some really cool people in a really cool town. They were really nice. It made me feel good. And I'm going to have to say, here's my, oh my wallet. Gosh, you're paying me now? Wow. Yes, and here you go. Um, I wow. owe you $2. You. Okay. <laughs> and so that's my thank you. I wouldn't have done it without you. And so enjoy that $10. Well, and plus I owe you too. Okay. So I guess the moral of the story is... Go to Gilman, it'll make your dad really happy.